Welcome to Ask Al, presented by Quad Plus. Here's today's question. I'm getting notices about the master drive being discontinued. What exactly does this mean? Okay, great question. Uh, I've also received those emails. Uh, if you're a user of the product, certainly it causes anxiety. Uh, you start asking questions, okay, am I gonna be able to get support? Uh, am I gonna be able to get spare parts, repairs, field service? And then the big question is, how much is this gonna cost my organization? How much time and how much engineering effort? So, and they're all valid things to be asking yourself at this point in time. So to get started, let's take a look exactly at what the notice says. And so here's the notice that's posted on the Siemens website. And I'm going to call your attention to the, to the graphic because that really spells out exactly what's happening. So as you can see, in October uh, 2010, Siemens issued notice to its installed base that it was beginning the phase-out process. Now within Siemens, what phase-out means is that during that time, they will provide spare parts, repairs, and field service uh, for the product for 10 years, in the case of the master drive, for 10 years. So based on that initial date of October 2010 and 2020, the product will officially be phased out and will enter into what they call discontinued. Now, during the phase out time, in addition to Siemens, there's many third parties out there that can provide support. Their last warranty liability ends uh, at, in 2022. Now, as you move forward and you have to consider after receiving this notice, okay, what do I do? You know, what, 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 what is the next steps? Uh, what I would suggest is that the, you know, the, the, the things to consider, performance, field service availability, the spare part availability, repair availability, and reliability. And certainly reliability in that there's, there's really no point in having a drive if you can repair it if it's failing all the time. Um, so performance, not an issue. The drive is going to continue to produce torque and run at the rated speeds the same as it did on day one. Um, so that can be put to the side. On the field service and repair, there's such a huge secondary market and, and Siemens itself, if there's business there, is going to remain in it, is going to continue on for a very long time. So really the question comes down to reliability um, and, and what do you do or the things that you can do to improve the reliability of the unit. Quad Plus has developed a life extension program for the master drive. Now this program is based on our knowledge and years and years of knowledge of the master drive itself. We've repaired over 2,000 master drives over the years and we manage countless others uh, in the field. And through this experience, there's things that we've learned. Uh, we know what replacement parts to use as an example. We know the spots, the soft spots within the control. All pieces of hardware have a point that they're the, the thing that fails first. And so we're aware of those, uh, those soft spots. We also are, are very much aware of the aging risks associated with the unit. Uh, and we stand behind our program. Any unit that e enters into our life extension program, from the initial work that we do, we provide a 12-month warranty. So what exactly do we do? First and foremost, the Quad Plus Drive PM program. And so this is really the block and tackle of maintenance where we're looking at cleaning the unit, checking connections, managing the temperature. Cooling systems. We know where the fans fail, we know when they fail, and we know some of the leading indicators of a failure. So we can proactively go in and replace those fans. Uh, on the water cooling system, you know, a good clean and flush, and also on the hoses and clamps in that there's newer technology available uh, where we retrofit those, those units to provide increased reliability. DC bus capacitors, you know, we produced a video earlier on just what happens to capacitors over time. So we have the ability to test those capacitors and determine whether or not they be, need to be replaced. Fiber optic performance. So if you're experiencing phantom output faults, uh, it's typically caused by the, t the plastic fibers uh, and specifically the transmitter diodes in that the intensity over time has tended to, to degrade. And so we have tests that we can perform and we know the levels that that light needs to be at in order to provide reliable operation. Next is the gate drivers. And again, phantom output faults, there's components on the gate driver that over time can be replaced, uh, providing higher levels of reliability. On the IGBTs, we assess the application of the unit in that there are certain applications and certain temperature profiles that can result in an aging effect on the IGBT and premature failure. And so we can proactively go in and replace that device. Power supplies, again, electrolytic capacitors, and so you see a trend here. We know which capacitors are experiencing the most heat, uh, therefore we know which capacitors need to be replaced. 
And then the internal power connections. And the important thing here is, is that there's, there's connections in behind that aren't visible uh, from the front of the unit that we can go in and we know where to look and we know what to do in order to, to remanufacture those, reconditions, recondition those to improve the reliability. Another strategy that you could consider is replacing the units one at a time. So if you have a lineup or if you have several units, by replacing one unit, there's a number of advantages. Number one, uh, you can defray the cost. And so uh, you can do this retrofit on your OPEX budget, not your CAPEX budget. Another big advantage is for displaced units, we can remanufacture and now you have a functional spare on the, on the shelf. And so, you know, as you move forward on your, on your program, you actually have more and more capability to support the units that are remaining in service. If you'd like additional information on our life extension program, or if you'd like assistance developing a strategy to migrate from your master drives, just send us an email or give us a call. As always, if there's a video topic that you'd like us to cover in the future, just send me an email, al at quadplus.com. And remember, always work safe, lockout and tagout. Thank you for watching.